Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Wealthy Network Marketer Show. I'm here today in beautiful Bora Bora. In today's episode, we're gonna be interviewing network marketers about why they love this industry and how it's changed their life. So sit back, enjoy, and we'll see you at the top. Hello everybody, Craig Shields coming to you today where we're gonna start a new series called Why I Love Network Marketing. As a part of this series is really to help raise awareness for people, help people to understand the industry of network marketing and the changes that have happened over the years that have really made this industry grow at such a rapid rate, $180 billion industry. So my role here as one of the biggest leaders in the network marketing industry is to help raise awareness and help people, the everyday people that may be misinformed, really gain an insight to what's possible in this industry. So a part of this series, what I've done was interview eight of the biggest leaders in the network marketing industry. We're talking about people that have built businesses internationally, built businesses over 40 years, earned seven figures in multiple companies annually, plus um, repeat, continue, do that. So they're what you call career network marketers, hall of famers, people that have uh, seen the change in business. So some of these people have been doing network marketing since the 1980s you know, pre sort of internet days. So this is the type of people that you will see and hear from in this series. And we're gonna call it Why I Love Network Marketing. So for me, I'm gonna share a bit about my story to start with in why I love network marketing. So my story is, I guess I'm a corporate engineer that fired my boss age 21 because I was a big thinker and a visionary and I hated the concept of trading time for money. It really didn't make sense to me for working for an hour and getting paid and rewarded for that, no matter how good you got at your job. So at age 21, I worked that out very, very quickly. I started my very first business, age 21, which was a fitness center. And I did that because I was passionate about health, wellness, nutrition, fitness, exercise, sport, etc. So I wanted to follow my dreams and passion and the fitness industry was that for me. Um, I did that career for a few years and what I was able to do in that third year in business was to be able to exit that business so it was really operating with or without me. But I wanted to take my business to the next level and at the next level was owning multiple fitness centers helping franchise that business. So I spent over 12 years in the fitness industry, over 12 years doing franchising, running traditional businesses. And I did that, I guess, pre-social media. So started back in 2001, 2003. So the way you did business back in 2001, 2003, when you didn't have a YouTube, you didn't have uh, Facebook, et cetera, things that we have and use nearly all day, every day, you know, the phones you could use, you could call and text people, Um, you know, the internet then, like one of the main tools to build business on the internet then was you would do Skype calls. So owning a traditional business for me back in 2001, 2003 simply made sense. But 2006, seven and eight, things were changing. Social media platforms were starting to enter and change the way we did business. Then smartphone technology again changed the way we did business. I read a book or listened to an audio book back in 2007, uh, which was called The Next Millionaires. And The Next Millionaires was created by uh, one of the world's leading economists, Professor Paul Zane Pilsner. And he was talking about the next millionaires will be created if you're involved in five key areas of business. One was the wellness industry, one was product distribution industry, one was the direct selling industry, one was information businesses and online businesses. So I started looking out there online, um, Googling, researching, doing everything I could to look for ways to do business online. I got involved with network marketing as a business model 
because I love uh, the nutritional products that the company sold. I started selling it to all my gym clients. I got good results doing that. I love the product myself. I believed in the products and my clients were getting great results, so it made sense. In my third year doing that, I was making more money doing that than owning five fitness clubs. It opened my mind to the possibilities and I wanted to take that to the next level. Along come a company um, for me now eight years ago that I made a business decision to help pioneer that company all around the world. It was a company that was focused not just on nutrition, not just on wellness. It was a company that was focusing on um, youth enhancement products. I thought broader range, I thought really big niches, youth enhancement, so we have wellness, skincare, weight management, all the areas that I had a passion and an interest in and absolutely growing industries rapidly. You know, there were obesity problems, there's anti-aging problems due to, uh, due to uh, the baby boomers, you know, one person turning 50 every second at the moment. So for me, owning a business or working a business that was in these multifaceted wellness slash youth enhancement range made sense. The company was distributing into over 100 countries at the time. So for me, I made a business decision and change. That decision also changed my life. In my third year in that business was my first seven figure year and I've been able to maintain that year on year on year for the last five years in business. I love network marketing. What I was able to achieve in that period of time superseded owning five gyms over 12 years, superseded being a corporate engineer. And it basically, I guess, transformed everything for me in a shorter this period of time. I've been able to get complete time freedom, financial freedom, happiness, be able to work from home. I've traveled all around the world. I've been to over 100 different cities around the world and I've won over 30 free holidays. I've had bucket list experience after bucket list experience after bucket list experience, all because of network marketing and it's only going to get bigger and better. The reason it's going to get bigger and better because technology is changing. Technology helps network marketing. So I'm a big, big fan because it gives you the opportunity for lifestyle, gives you the opportunity for freedom. For me, owning a gym, getting up at 10 to 5 in the morning, getting home at 8 p.m. every single night, exhausted, was not a great way to build a business. It wasn't a great way to have a family and help create a future there. And financially, it wasn't typically a way that was going to propel me forward to the way that I wanted to go being able to work from home all day, be able to be in business as long as I can get onto the phone, the internet and social media is the way that I believe that we need to do business. Smart business people understand this concept. Smart business people understand the concept of leverage. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit more in this Why Network Marketing series, but it really is about leveraging a platform that's already working leveraging products that are already working, you know, and then go out there and be the marketer and the promoter of something you love and believe in and be remunerated for the effort that you put in. Network marketing is a $180 billion industry. It's changed the way people do business now. It's given the everyday average person an opportunity to build an extraordinary life. So network marketing's here to stay and if you're interested in the network marketing industry, you will be interested in this series. So I'm interviewing eight of the biggest leaders in the network marketing industry. These people share why they love network marketing has changed their lives too. So that's a bit about my story, a bit about why I love network marketing. Hope you enjoy the series. Hi everyone, Craig Schultz coming to you with a special series where I am basically helping people understand the network marketing industry, the power of the industry. So I'm interviewing some of the brightest minds and most experienced leaders in the history of network marketing. I'm here in Bora Bora with Kathy Robbins who's been in this industry at the highest level and built teams all around the world for over 30 years now. She transitioned from the corporate world into this industry successfully and has been full time for a long time and had a lot of success. So Kathy, 
Why do you love network marketing so much? Well, it was really the best decision I ever made. I, I owned an investment firm, and I'll tell you one of the hardest things is you sit down with a couple who are 55 and over, and they can't, they want to retire. They say, I'll, I'd like to retire in five years. And it's like you want to say to them, you need to cut, play the lottery because you're not, it's not going to happen. I had no way of helping them. In network marketing, I can help them. And that's really the key. To me, what I enjoy most is watching people come into the business, go through personal growth and, and learning the business and coming out financially better off than they were. Maybe not all of them are financially secure, but they're better off than they were. And then there are those who go on to become financially secure and help their family members become financially secure. It's a great business, and I've, you know, I've enjoyed it. It's been perfect for me. And uh, you've been, I guess, in the industry for a long time. We're here in Bora Bora at the moment, one of the most beautiful places in the mm -hmm. world. I'm sure you've been on over 50, probably even as 100 oh, yeah. incentive trips. You know, we, what does have, that look we have been all over the world. And I'm a kid, I'm somebody who, was, as a kid, grew up in a place where most people were born and died within six blocks of their own home. So for, net, for me to have traveled all over the world, we, we lived in England for a year because we were building a business there. We, we've had such great opportunities and it's, to me, the experiences are more important than the money. Because you can lose the money, but you can't lose the experiences. The memories are there and that's what makes this such a great business. Thanks a lot for your time oh, today, Kathy. And yeah, look, this industry is a rapidly growing industry with social media, with smartphone technology, with the internet. You can build a business all around the world and have incredible lifestyle experiences. You know, we're here in Bora Bora at the moment and I'm in business as long as I've got my phone, the internet. So till next time, we'll see you soon. Great. Hey everybody, Craig Shields coming to you from beautiful Bora Bora and a part of the series I'm doing at the moment is all about raising the awareness for network marketing and to do that we're interviewing the biggest and best network marketers in the world. I'm here today with one of my good friends Calvin Becerra who lives in the US and built an incredible business all around the world, a big sought after speaker in the industry. So Calvin, why do you love network marketing? Man, I always get that question a lot, you know, not normally from network marketers, but from just people in general. When they ask, see my business, when they see my wife and I on social media, traveling around the world, building our business, they say, how is that your job, you know? And a lot of people ask me, why network marketing? I always give them three different reasons. The first reason I tell them why network marketing is the community. There's no business like network marketing. There's no business you can get involved in where people around you want you to do better than themselves. They want you to grow. They want you to surpass them. They want you to climb all the way to the top. So that's one reason why, because that doesn't happen in the workplace. Your boss never wants you to take his job or her job. The second reason why network marketing, why I love this business so much is because of the freedom. And I'm not talking about financial freedom. Everybody has their own number they would love to make in their life to, to cover their bills so they have, they're stress free. But for me, the bigger you build your business in network marketing, uh, the currency you get paid back in is time. Uh, I make enough money to be able to have all of my time to spend with my wife, with my kids, to be able to take them to school in the morning, pick them up after school, to be able to work out with my wife in the gym every day, take her to lunch, to be able to never miss my kids' award ceremonies or soccer games or football games or dance recitals. Those are the things that, that's the real currency I get paid in this business is my time. And then the final reason why uh, network marketing, why I love it so much is the lifestyle. I mean, we're sitting here in Bora Bora on an all expense paid trip by our company. Uh, no business does that. I mean, if you have a normal job and you work your butt off for the last 5, 10, 15 years, your boss is never going to come up to you and be like, I want to send you and your wife and your family on an all expense paid trip to Bora Bora. Usually at your job, the harder you work, the more of the trips the owner gets to take. So it's incredible. We can build a business around the world. I'm traveling around all these different countries, sharing the business, sharing the plan, sharing my story, and it's our job. It's, 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 so it's become a passion of mine, but network marketing, there's no business like it on the planet. If you aren't a part of it, you gotta be a part of it now. Yeah, thanks for that, Calvin, because no problem, uh, this guy here is a mover and a shaker. This industry is not just something you join at, it all happens. It requires work. It requires but work. The, the efforts and the rewards are worth it. So That's right. uh, thank you again. No problem. Thanks, guys. Hey everybody and welcome to another episode where I'm talking to some of the biggest network marketing leaders in the world about why they love network marketing and how network marketing has changed their life. I'm here with Mr. Lyndon Bienoff today who's been in this industry for over 30 years 
built businesses all around the world he's been on some of the most incredible bucket list experiences that you can imagine so Lyndon why do you love network marketing and how's it changed your life well for me this is often um, a really a bit of a misunderstood industry but what I how I like to explain it is it's an industry where people's dreams are reborn you know quite often people's dreams are knocked out over life stresses and over time and people kind of go into their shell and just uh, battle life status quo but this industry gives a person the opportunity to be able to be their best you can't succeed in this industry without having incredible personal growth and this industry is a level playing field it doesn't matter uh, your tertiary education it doesn't matter uh, how much success you've had in the past it doesn't matter whether you're rich or poor your ethnicity everyone can have success in this industry it's a business of the mind as long as you're prepared to fight for it so I love fighting for people I love seeing the little people succeed network marketing has been my life and career for that very reason and Lyndon look what makes a successful network marketer so if someone sitting on on the other side of this video what a three key ingredients that would be able to help them have success in this industry well mentioning that it's a level playing field the one thing that's not is up here so really what I look for is someone that is really prepared to fight and to go after what they want to achieve that strong mind determined you know someone who's brave you know someone who's willing to be self-sacrificing and knowing that to succeed here in this industry is actually more about other people and what it is about themselves can they fight for other people help other people achieve their dreams network marketing is a relationship industry you've got to be great at making relationships not only with people that have, you have a lot in common with but maybe people you have nothing in common with if you can do some of those things you've got the ability to go all the way to the top and in this industry at the top we're talking about large incomes multi-million dollar incomes yeah look I guess Lyndon touched on a great thing right there everything that makes a successful network marketer is really life skills building relationships communicating having a good strong mindset and vision of what they want to achieve so I think if you can have those life skills the, and the growth that you go through on this journey you can have incredible success in this industry now you've been on over 50 different uh, experiences around the world you know this industry has changed your life how would you describe network marketing that way well to have the opportunity to design your own life what you do with your family when you do it where you travel to not having to worry about the price uh, of items on a restaurant menu it's pretty cool it really is freedom and uh, I've traveled everywhere just about every uh, location country on earth and uh, for me people say why don't you retire you've been in the industry so long you've made so much money why would I want to retire you know for me I'm living a dream each and every day when I wake up so I'm gonna be here till the day I die uh, look, Lyndon, I want to thank you for taking the time. Like, this series is all about giving people a true understanding of what's possible and really raising the awareness for network marketing as an industry because it's a great industry. And you know, for me and for people like Lyndon, we want everyone to look at it more seriously and come and join us on the journey. So thank you, Lyndon. My pleasure. Check this out. Hey everybody, it's Craig Schultz coming to you with my series about why network marketing and to really paint the picture of why network marketing of it, I'm interviewing some of the biggest network marketers in the history of the industry. People that have spent, I guess, lasted the test of time in the industry, seen the ups and downs, um, people that have transitioned from corporate careers into this industry and built incredible businesses. And I'm super excited today because I'm here with someone that certainly mentored me and guided me along the journey quite considerably but one of the biggest network marketers in the history of the entire industry We've got Teresa Gregory here with us has been in the industry for over 45 years so imagine the experience and the wisdom and what she has to say so Teresa why do you love network marketing oh wow Craig well thank you um, for interviewing me here what a beautiful place here we are in Bora Bora and uh, you know, just the lifestyle, everything that the industry does for you is just, you can't explain it. Uh, my husband and I have both worked for Fortune 500 companies. 
So we work for some of the top businesses in, in the nation. We, I work for UPS and been in administration for the state of Ohio. My husband worked for a Fortune 500 company. And then we had our own business. So we've had Fortune 500 companies owning our own business and network marketing. And hands down, network marketing just, it just is, surpasses it all. You know, the time, freedom, the flexibility, the income that you can earn, there is just no cap. And then, of course, the lifestyle, Craig. I mean, you get to travel the world, be with people you you know you love and care about, your friends, your family, and it's it's changed our life. So I wouldn't trade it for anything. And I mean, you've built in this industry really without even the internet. So right. like you know, you've seen, I guess, the transition of what's possible, where the way you did business in network marketing back, you know, 40 years ago oh, yes. to what's happened now. Like you know. This industry is rapidly growing. Sort of explain a bit about the transition and, uh, and this industry now. Well, it's interesting because, you know, still the basics and the foundation are it's a relationship business. Mm. So, um, but, you know, with the internet, it's taken us to a whole new level. But you still need the basics. You always need the basics. And so, what I, I can remember, I built a business of over 400,000, close to 500,000, and a company took me 10 years to do. That was with a phone and a fax. And I can re remember back then our phone bills were like $2,000 a month. That was our biggest expense really. And then if you traveled. And so, but it took me 10 years to do that. We were in 30 countries. We sold that business. So, and that's another plus, you know, you have a viable business that's worth money that you can sell. And so we sold that business. It, it took us 10 years to do that. Then let's fast forward to the internet. And now with the internet, we have now we have over 500,000 people with our business. Mm. And um, I can remember the first time I introduced the internet, it took me a couple of years at one time to build over 500,000 people. Now with what we're doing now, we're very steadily growing over 100 countries. And you just, you just keep the basics. The basics always work. And I've yet to see anybody yet totally go to the internet and surpass what the old timers are doing with the basics. So you have to have that. You have to keep that relationship, traveling around, working with people. But if you want to work from your home, that little phone in the palm of your hand can take you around the globe to do business. And I guess, yeah, for someone like yourself that's been in the industry, a lot of people often uh, refer oh, to Get Rich Quick Scheme or, mm -hmm. or something like that. You know, this is a big, booming industry and it's a business and if you treat it like a business it'll become a business so right. what would be your advice to someone out there that's you know just doesn't really give this industry the respect that it deserves well they really don't know mm. you know I know a lot of people say things that you know about our industry that they don't understand and it's really dated thinking so the e-commerce platform is the future so they really need to to get educated and update themselves on where the industry is and what we're doing because everybody knows, you know, the internet and the e-commerce platform is the future. And so, but you take the old and you marry it with the new and you put it together and there's an explosion that can happen in your life and in your business. Yes. Uh, look, I mean, I wanted to sit down with someone like Teresa, you know, over 45 years. You mm. think about every industry in business from the taxi industry to the hotel industry to the movie industry. Everything's Everything. changed significantly over that time and network marketing has too so i'm putting this series together interviewing the best of the best of the best that have lasted the mm. test of time in the industry building credible international teams and what a pleasure to be here with teresa gregory uh, definitely a hall of famer of the industry but someone that's evolved continually over time so thank you teresa thanks craig for having me it's great to be here thanks everyone time management plan this is really important because this is a profession and 97% of the people that join this business or this industry will do it part-time alongside of what they're already doing. So if they're busy with work, family, career, sport, hobbies, um, spending time with kids, they really need to have a really good time management plan to factor in the hours that they can do their business. And if you can factor in somewhere between 5 and 15 hours a week, you can build a really good Jeunesse business. But it's important to be consistent, and the only way to be consistent is commit to a time management plan. 
That might be your lunch break every single day. It might be driving home from work every single night or on the way to work every single morning that you do the calls and the required activities. But it's really important that you um, have a really good time management plan.